seed starting and transplanting huckleberries. Hello everybody, welcome to Seven Savings Garden where we talk about gardening, ways to save money and other special events. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos. So over here I have huckleberries that I um, planted in here. Um, all I did was just uh, sprinkle uh, the seeds on the on the uh, seed starter uh, mix that I had in here and the seeds are germinating. So uh, it's time for us to uh, transplant some of them. These ones still have, uh, seeds still will have like a week for me to transplant them. And, and these ones over here, I I just use an aluminum tray, made a couple of holes at the bottom and just, just added the uh, seed starter mix in there and uh, planted the seeds in here. Uh, like I said, you can use um, any container to start your seeds and it's very easy to do. Over here, uh, it's very easy. You don't have to buy uh, any container. You can just use uh, old aluminum foil or aluminum pen that you have at home and you just make your own seed starter mix or you buy a seed starter mix. Over here, I'm using a um, juice box and as you see, the juice box um, these these ones are ready to be transplanted and I planted these ones like two weeks ago so uh, these ones are ready to be transplanted and we are going to transplant them into our bigger containers so that it gives the plants more space for them to spread out and grow more and for the roots to have uh, more nutrients and be able to uh, grab more nutrients from bigger container so we're going to transplant this into a bigger uh, container down here um, also I have another video that um, shows you how to make a very inexpensive high quality uh, potting mix I'll see if I can add the uh, video in the description below um, or on the cut on the top right or top left so uh, we're gonna start transplanting the important part of transplanting is to make sure that uh, one the uh, container you're transplanting it to is big enough for the roots to expand and for the roots to be able to absorb a lot of nutrients to um you want to make sure that there's the the container um has enough depth for the roots as you see this one over here the 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 the, the depth for the container is good enough that the roots are going to be able to continue growing and penetrating the 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 soil so so we're gonna transplant it and one important important thing you have to make sure that you do is when transplanting you want to make sure that the roots are completely buried I, like i just did on this other one and i'm gonna do it on this one now you just want to dig a hole the length of the root and like these ones are the roots are a little bit longer you want to make sure that the roots are completely buried uh in underneath the uh potting mix or underneath the soil and then you cover it and that way the roots don't get dry out and the plant doesn't doesn't die from uh, exposure of the roots so once um you you bury the roots and you can just cover the the roots and make sure that the stem has enough support for the stem to uh stand upright and and that's it also i have another video that shows you how to germinate your seeds very fast that's the same process i use on this one and it helps me get my seedlings very fast. Okay, once we're done uh, transplanting these ones, we're just gonna put it aside. We do the next one before we water it. We're gonna transplant one more. And like I said, you just make sure that uh, the soil is moist. And after um, transplanting them, you wanna make sure that um, the roots are deep into the soil and the roots are covered and the plants have enough space for them to grow so that once they mature they have enough space for the leaves and and for the roots to be able to um, absorb the nutrients that they require either from the soil or from the sun so these ones um even though it's better to plant them uh to transplant um your plants with roots and and the soil but if it's too compact like this you can still uh grab the grab them out single like that 
as long as you water it you water the the transplant immediately after you plant it it should be fine the roots are gonna take uh hold of the soil and they're gonna be able to start absorbing nutrients from the soil so once we're done we, with this we're just gonna uh, water it We're gonna we're gonna water it and we wanna make sure that it's the soil is completely soaked, drenched, so that way the uh, the roots can continue absorbing nutrients. Okay, this is what I transplanted last week, and they already t taken hold and they are doing well. And these other ones over here, these ones over here, I transplanted them um, like four days ago, so they still have. Uh, a little bit longer wait for them to get to where they're supposed to be and uh, they are they all doing great so we just have to continue watering them and uh, making sure that they get enough uh, sunlight and these ones I transplanted like a week and a half ago so uh, these ones are doing really really well and I'll say in three weeks time we should be able to start harvesting uh, these and um, with huckleberries, we eat mostly the leaves, and we eat the leaves. We use the leaves to eat, make like um, make vegetable soup, and you can also use the leaves on omelets and other stuff. So these are these ones. I also transplanted them uh, three days ago. So uh, these ones are also um, they're doing great. So uh, that's what um, that's what I have so far. Uh, for the huckleberries. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to share